So here we are for this incident analysis video for the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix. And of course, the only incident we are going to analyse is the Max Verstappen Charles Leclerc incident at the very end of the race. And now that it has been officially confirmed that Max Verstappen does not have a penalty and does keep his race victory, I am now going to show why for me, Max Verstappen was not deserving of a penalty for what he did with Charles Leclerc. Now, first off, let's look at this angle. And this angle is the angle you would have seen if you watched the race live. So, Max Verstappen, of course, thrown it down the inside at turn three. And then, as you can see here, Verstappen definitely going for the move as he knows he has to get past Charles Leclerc right now if he is to absolutely win this Grand Prix. Now, at this point, you'll see later on in the video, but at this point, Verstappen does have his steering wheel straight, but so does Charles Leclerc. And at this point, both drivers are now just about starting to turn right, because, of course, it is a right-hander. Now, the lap before, Charles Leclerc did hold it just about around the outside. So Charles, of course, is trying to do the same thing. But at this point, Max Verstappen has more of his car ahead than he did on the previous lap. And an overtake now is definitely more possible than it was before. And then as they get to the exit let's say of turn three max verstappen does have his car slightly ahead but they are basically at this point side by side and then contact is made and Charles leclerc goes off the circuit now i'm going to show why verstappen was not in the wrong for what he did now when it comes to Charles leclerc and his steering input we don't yet, as I make this video, have a T-cam shot of what Charles Leclerc was doing at this exact time. So this is the only angle I could find of what Charles Leclerc was doing with the steering wheel. Now, if you look towards where the steering wheel is, you can just about see the top of Charles Leclerc's fingers as I believe, and I think the T-cam, once the footage of that comes out, it will prove me right. Charles Leclerc is turning right at this point, and so is Max Verstappen. And you can see here, Charles Leclerc's hand is now even bigger because he's turning as far to the right as he can, but so is Max Verstappen. And then contact is made, and Leclerc now has to start going off the circuit. Now, as I'll show in a moment, because Verstappen is also turning right, I don't necessarily think the contact was because of Max Verstappen. I think it is more so to do with Charles Leclerc turning in. Of course, Charles Leclerc is entitled to try and fight for his position, but I think this is honestly more so when it comes to the contact of Charles Leclerc hitting Verstappen rather than Verstappen hitting Charles Leclerc and as we now go on to Verstappen's on board I think his steering input will prove Max to be uh, in the right so as they now start coming down to the apex of turn three you can see the curb slightly on the right hand side of the shot Verstappen does have his steering wheel pretty straight but is now slowly but surely turning the car to the right now if you go back and look at the video of this incident at this point where max verstappen starts to turn in he's turning in on the apex of the corner so i don't believe that max was deliberately going wide at this corner to put leclerc off the track i think max put it down the inside very aggressively and simply tried to turn in now at this point, you can see Verstappen turning in a lot to get into this right-hander and get going on the straight towards turn four. And at this point, if you look at the steering wheel, Max Verstappen is at full lock on that steering wheel. Verstappen can't do any more when it comes to steering in the car. And as I showed with Charles Leclerc, 
Charles Leclerc was also turning right. So because Verstappen was also turning right, you have to say that the contact was really caused by Leclerc turning into Verstappen rather than Verstappen, you know, turning into or hitting Leclerc off the circuit. Now, he did slightly, uh, Max Verstappen, open up the steering, but because he did have slight bit of understeer in the corner you have to do that when you have understeer or oversteer you have to straighten up the wheel to try and keep the car uh, or not straighten up the wheel but open up the steering to try and keep the car balanced and not go off the circuit and i don't believe max was in the wrong for doing that and then as you can see starts to turn right again and this is just after the contact between him and Charles Leclerc and then even at this point where Max is almost off the circuit again if you look at Max's steering wheel he is still turning right Max Verstappen I don't believe was deliberately even though it doesn't really matter I don't think Verstappen was trying to run Leclerc off the track and I don't think honestly that is how Leclerc went off the track. I don't think Leclerc went off the track because Verstappen pushed him off. I think Leclerc went off the track because he tried to fight it around the outside, but he didn't have any space. And because he was still fighting it, the only place he could go is by hitting Verstappen and going off the circuit. Now, two more points I want to make is one... Charles Leclerc, he did drive very well in the race, I'm not doubting that, but I do have to doubt how much Charles Leclerc wanted his first race win because in this instance, he didn't exactly defend his position that hard. I mean, I mean, with well, what, two or three laps to go, he's fighting for his first race win in Formula 1 and he didn't even cover the inside line to try and protect his lead going down into turn three i don't really understand why he didn't do so maybe he thought he could again like he did on the previous lap hold it around the outside but that is a very risky thing to do so i think charles leclerc instead of blaming max he does have to blame himself because he let max go down the inside and if you do that too many times, the Max Verstappen is not going to let you have a chance to redeem yourself. So I think Charles Leclerc honestly should blame himself when it comes to that because you cannot doubt, if you look at the uh, evidence, that Charles Leclerc did not do everything in his power to defend the lead going into turn three. He definitely could have defended the inside line better than he did in this incident at turn three on i believe a uh, lap 69 also one last point the fia took three hours to come to the decision that they did that max verstappen uh did not get a penalty it should not take three hours to come to that decision it was not that hard of a decision to make so i don't get why honestly it would take that long to come to that decision and i think they do have to speed up that process because races should not be decided three hours after a race is finished and everyone has gone home or turned off their tv that should not be happening so i think honestly that the FIA have got to improve in terms of the amount of time they take making a decision like this also just to clarify something people have said that because Vettel got a penalty in Canada for what he did that Verstappen should have got a penalty here for me they're two completely different incidents because Vettel was not overtaking anyone and it was a completely again different incident at a completely different type of corner and i don't think they can really be consistent in that type of area because again they're completely different and i don't think 
even if you were to compare it to other incidents, I don't think what Max Verstappen did here, whether you want to be consistent or not, was wrong. Yes, Vettel got a penalty for what he got in Canada, but again, it's not really that similar in terms of what happened in Austria. So for me, the right decision was made. And F1, for now, is not dead when it comes to hard racing on track. But guys, thank you for coming along and listening to me take you through the incident and me analysing why, for me, Max Verstappen was not deserving of a penalty for what he did to Charles Leclerc in Austria. Also, we are about to, I believe, hit 6,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys so, so much for that. I cannot thank you guys enough. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully we can get the 10,000 subs very, very quickly indeed. But of course, if you do disagree with me about what happened, comment down below why you disagree. And if you do agree, then also comment down below why you agree. And as well, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this as I will do this, of course, for every F1 race weekend. And smash the like button if you want to see this content continue. Also, my next video, guys, is coming on Thursday, and it is to do with Lewis Hamilton. So definitely watch out for that video coming on Thursday at 12 p.m. UK time. But until then, and until the next F1 race, it has been me, Chazza HD. Goodbye.